On high alert, Dallas police officers remain watchful after someone shot at one of their buildings. Our Steve Pickett joining us live from Dallas police headquarters where he spoke to officers about the anxiety level they're now feeling. Steve? It's fair to say that they are on edge as a result of the information I garnered today, talking with the leader of the largest police association about this shooting and other shootings, how police can actually continue their duty of protecting the people right now. They came to the front door. Nine shots fired outside the South Central DPD police station. The bullets hit no one, but the casualty count for this latest attack on Dallas police is still being added up. If you're not even safe in your own station house, you're not safe sitting in a car. Well, what's next? A police officer sitting at a red light? Veteran Police Sergeant Mike Mata leads the DPD's largest officer advocacy group, the Dallas Police Association. The killing of four DPD officers and a DART officer in July. The violent June 2015 attack on police headquarters. The attacker eventually shot and killed. And the ambush shooting of 2010 injuring officer Richard Witt, who is responding to a fake 911 call. Mata believes all of these affect an officer's job to serve and protect citizens. What does this do to the, to the morale and the mentality of your everyday street officer? The stress that he's under enough every day, and now you're adding this to it. But now it's almost like every car you approach, there's even more reality that somebody in that car might want to shoot you. And so it's, it's completely understandable that an officer is going to be a little bit more on edge. They're human. On edge, there's no question that they feel some sense of anxiety from all of this, particularly when you see someone literally coming to these stations and opening up fire. We have seen it before. We were told today, officers are told to rely on their training. Yes, obviously they're concerned, but focus on doing the right thing and still look after these individuals, these suspects who are still on these streets. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.